All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy Level MP. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the jump off experience, uh, who I met, how I felt, and everything. Keep it level. Um, first, let me start off by saying if I sound a little weird, a little funky, a little loud, a little low, whatever. Uh, we do we have COVID, so we're kind of in this room, relaxing, and just uh, decided to make this series. So, if you don't know who I am. We're going to point to it. It's Level MP. You see it up there. We're going to talk about Jump Off. That's the event we were at. This is uh, EA Challenge. I don't know if you can see it. But that's back in PS3. GameStop was the sponsor. That was the Virgin Gaming. Uh, I won't take it off. But that's the Virgin Gaming thing right there. Um, if you guys ever want to check my streams out. Twitch.tv slash Madden's Players. We have a good time. Anyway, it's talking about Jump Off. It was a major tournament. They ran one last year in Florida. Seemed really fun and really cool. Um, we didn't go to it. We weren't invited or anything like that last year. But this year they did it in Vegas. And if you guys know me, I'm not too far from Vegas. We are from the region over there. We did live in Vegas for a while. But anyway, so I really wanted to make this event. Um, and it ended up the qualifying weekend um ended up being the same week i was on spring break because i work for a school district so i got to uh lab a lot and do a lot of things the funny thing is is i got off of xbox about two months ago and went back to playstation just to have a good time i thought my competing was done like we're just moving on content creation whatnot right and jump off comes out and they do and they do uh, qualifiers and i'm like oh, okay it's regs let's go but no, they're doing MUT qualifiers. And the only ones we got invited to were MUT. So we had to really grind. We had to really go um, try and get in. And so we did the whole week. We had a 92 overall squad when we got the news that we got selected to be in the maze tourney. So what did I do, man? No money, nothing. Just grinded the whole solos, played some games online. Did all that. Grinded up to like a 96, I want to say. It was a 96. And we ended the tournament with that. Now, a lot of people had 98 going to this tournament, cruising all that. I was not expected to do anything in this tournament and stuff. So we go in, you know, level and P. We always try to have a good time, have fun. We ended up getting to like the semifinals, I want to say. Semi or quarter, whatever it was. And we lost to Celebral and uh, he ended up going to the event and we met him. So anyways, uh, we almost made it. Two games out, whatever. No one expected me to even win a game, so that was very cool. Anyways, let's fast forward to the event and when we get there, right? So, I almost didn't get to go because some personal stuff happened. And I didn't think I was going to be able to go. And we changed it. I was able to go. I ended up getting there super early, right? The event didn't start until 2. I thought it was at 12. I had to pick up something at 9. Um, so, anyways, drove down there early in the morning. Left my house at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever it was. Got there, got what I needed to get, got to the casino, the Luxor, at like 5 a.m. Excuse me real quick, guys. Got to the Luxor at like 5 a.m. Excuse me, 9 a.m. Um, and stuff. And believe it or not, because I had to pick something up um, that was very emotional for me, we had a drink at 9 a.m., a rum and coke, <laughs> only in Vegas. And I put some money in the slot. We hit a little bit. Had a little gamble time. Whatever. Gets about. Uh, I want to say like 11. I'm like. Ah. Oh, we'll just go hang out in front of. Uh, in front of the. Uh, the venue. Which was the. the You know. At the Luxor. I can't think of the name right now. The Esports Arena. Whatever you want to call it. Right. Hanging out there. Just chilling. Inside of the walk up by. Let's just take a look at it. Right. Up Walks up. Ant Cat. Never met him. Don't know what he looks like. Don't know what he sounds like. Nothing. He walks up to me and goes, hey, MP. I'm like, hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm Adam's players, right? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Hey, I'm Ancat, right? We start talking, shooting the shit. And, you know, he tells me about certain stuff. I tell him about certain stuff. We have a really good conversation. Get to know each other really well. Uh, he ended up being... Uh, I'm, I'm very self-conscious. Like, I think if I don't get selected for stuff or picked for stuff or whatever... I feel that people hate me or dislike me or don't think I'm good enough or whatever. When I met him, I didn't get that feeling. He knew who I was. He wanted me in more tournaments. He told me how to do it. 
and everything, which I let him know, you know, I switched back to PlayStation, I'm a little older now, I'm not as young as these competitors anymore, we're old heads, right? So we had a deep conversation about uh, certain things that remain between us, but I felt really good, like someone knew who I was at a tournament, they seen my content, they follow me, even though they don't follow me like on social media, which ANCAP, man, you want to follow my Twitter anytime? No? Alright. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, we chatted and I felt good. Um, and ended up getting to go in early. And what was cool was hanging outside before we enter, um, spamming buttons was there. Now I know who spamming buttons is just because um, we had a few games. He probably beat the shit out of me, whatever. I'm not as good as him right now. But he walks up. I know who he is. But I ask him, I'm like, do you even know who I am? Just curiosity, right? And he goes, yeah, man, you level MP, you Madden's players. Shocked the living shit out of me because, again, I don't think people in my mind know who I am or anything. Don't know my past, my history, whatever. Um, anyways, but he was like, yeah, I know who you are. And he shot the shit. First time I've met him in person that I'm aware of. Um, and we got along just fine. He was cool, man. We hung out. We talked. Uh, he told me about like how we got in, his troubles. Uh, and Cap even like helped him out at like three in the morning because he had some troubles. Actually, and Cap's a good dude, man. You guys definitely want to enter his tournaments and his stuff. Brilliant mind, brilliant mind, really underrated mind. Anyway, so we hung out with Spamming. We got in. We saw the venue. We took pictures and stuff. I just I was in awe of the venue. Just I thought it was beautiful. I've been to a lot of venues, more of the underground scene. If you guys know who Madden Underground is, been to a lot of their tournaments. If you've been around me, you know I've been to my own tournaments that we ran. A um, lot, a lot of tournaments that UG Smooth ran. He ran really good tournaments. Um, just lots of stuff. Anyways, this venue was really good, and and I enjoyed it. We we hung out. We got to do all that. Talked spam for a while, and then you know the competitors started showing up. Um, I, I'm trying to remember who who kind of showed up in what order, so I might I might get it wrong. I might you know you know whatever. Um, some people I didn't know, so some people showed up, I didn't really know who they were, or like I did, and maybe they didn't really realize who I was, um, but anyways, um, Henry didn't show up, so I think he got sick or couldn't make it, I kind of wanted to meet him, he was cool, um, so no, in no particular order, I'm just going to kind of go over the people I met, how I felt about them, and whatever, right, so, um, uh, one of the cool people I really wanted to meet, um, was Rag. Right, I really wanted to meet Rag. Him and me have had a vibe online. If you've ever seen me play and Rag play, I'm, I don't want to really say they're a similar style, but you can kind of tell that we have the same mindset. We like to run. We like to be entertaining. We like you know that style of Madden. We're not throwing deep every play. We're not route jockeys. We're just p load us up. Let's run. Let's be entertaining. Let's run plays people don't know. Let's go in. He's more in depth and stuff, which we talked about when we met. He's way more in depth than I ever was and stuff. But anyways, I wanted to meet him. Very legit fun dude, man. Like, in, he, he's definitely the way he is online and everything. And, and one thing that sticks out when I met him, um, one, I thought he'd be a little taller. Like, I don't know. I'm just really tall, I guess. So anyways, but it's funny because he said, you know, uh, you're just a normal dude, you know, meeting you on, meeting you in person, you know, you're just a normal dude, but when, when you online, you know, you might think you, uh, he didn't really say crazy, but you know, I'm out there, my rap, my style, whatever, I'm out there, but it was funny, because I met him, his brother was chill, and so thank you for your service, by the way, um, anyways, but Rag was very cool to meet, and seeing him play live, like, entertain it, was in, was entertaining. He had the electricity. He played with the style that I like to see because I'm I run like you be. Him and I are probably the only ones, in my opinion, besides the king that ever brought running with the QB to a high level. You don't really see running with the QB in high tournaments and high volume tournaments, but he brought it, and he was cool. He was nice, friendly, fun to be around. Definitely shout out to Rag. That was fun. Another person we obviously wanted to meet was Fendler. Um, I know people see and project stuff they see online and, you know, whatever. And I don't want to get too into that. What me and Fender think of each other. What you guys think of Fender. What you think of me. That's a whole other conversation. 
and stuff. Tw Twitter shit is Twitter shit is Twitter shit. We're going to leave that be wherever it is, man. Meeting him in real life, I felt like he was a genuine good guy, good human being. Fun energy. Fun energy. Loved to be around him. Came up, said hi. Couldn't believe how tall this guy was, man. I'm tall. Like, I know you guys see me sitting down, but Finn is as tall as me. I'm 6'4 or something. He is 6'4 or something probably also. I'm a little chunkier, a little bigger, a little thudder of a guy. He has a little more, uh, I don't, he's a little more skinnier. I don't know, a little more toned. But he is fun to be around. High energy, makes you feel involved, makes you want to be around him. Very nice to meet in person. Okay? I don't know online. I know some people have his thoughts. Some people talk about whatever. In person, he's fun, man. He's, he's a good guy, good to be around. Definitely a guy that I would, you know, I would like to do content with. Honestly, I would. He's a good man and stuff. Anyways, past that. Met him. He brought the energy. He, we met. I got to see him play Pop. So, real quick, side note. Met Pop. Went up to Pop. Popular Stranger, if you guys know who he is. Went up to Pop. Introduced myself. Cause I don't think Popular Stranger really knows who I am. I'm not that high of a content creator. I don't, you know, not like Pop follows me or watches me or anything. Um, but I introduced myself because I like Pop. I like people that bring EA um, content to the masses and bring people in. One thing about Pop, he does not talk. He is not a talker. He's very quiet. So um, I think he's maybe said five words the whole time there. But very good, genuine guy. Seems like a family guy. Very nice to meet him. Anyways, the reason I bring that up, him and Fender were the first game, and they could not get their game to work. <laughs> they, it was so funny. They, like, it, they would not get it to work, right? But anyways, what happened, back to Fender, he had to play, um, I, I'm going to mess up his name, but he's, he's a Facebook streamer. I can't think of his name right now. Uh, s something, I don't remember his name. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm messing up his name. Anyways, they were playing, and they were jawjacking, man. Like, you would think that they were playing for a million dollars. It was fun, high entertaining. Um, it was great. They were capping back and forth, good cap, you know, stuff like that. Fender can run the rock. Uh, I, I mean, I will give him credit. He's, he is very good at running. I know we see him on, on, like, Mutt and stuff, and, you know, you think the abilities help, which I think they do. But he was using the 49ers. And stuff, and he was running the rock. He was going in, making good runs, good reads, using the stick. He does have stick. I do not give people stick credit unless they deserve it. Fenn has good stick in person and stuff. Realize what I'm saying. Fenn is not a professional Madden player by any means, neither am I. But when compared to content streamers and stuff like that, his stick is very good, or at least it was in person. Versus Pop, he beat, I think he beat Pop for sure. Um, he ended up playing Boogs and stuff. I didn't talk to Boogs too much. Um, nothing against Boogs or anything. I just, he doesn't know who I am. Boogs is like up here. I've, I don't think I've ever played Boogs. But Boogs is on another level. Like, Boogs is definitely a pro Madden person. And you can tell when he played Rags, he knew what to do, what to call. He knew how to talk to Fan, how to get in his ear. It's fun to watch to be around. So we met them. Very good vibes around Fan. We got on his stream. He had like the the what do you call it? like the camera or whatever. He would live stream his game and stuff. Very content created oriented, and it was a good vibe. I ended up enjoying being and hanging around Fan IRL. I wish we could have gone out, and got a drink, and had a good time, but I wasn't in that crowd. And you know, MP stays his distance. You guys do you. MP does me. I had that life before. I just want to enjoy my time. Moving on. And stuff. Who else did we meet while we were there? Maze. Maze is one of the best people, best dudes you will ever meet in real life. Raider Nation, number one. Two, he just treats you like a normal dude, man. He says hi, takes the time. He even gives you COVID. I'm just playing, Maze. Um, but, you know, talks with us, hung out with us. We talked about Raider stuff. I told him, you know, I'd really like to do some content with you. Um, he seems like he could uh, consume 
a good amount of stuff. Hold on real quick. I don't have the remote, do I? No. Oh, well. TV will turn off. Um, it seems like he consume a good amount of alcohol on a stream, which we have always want to do an alcohol stream with someone that could consume a lot. I think we'd have a fun stream. Um, but anyways, above all else, the dude can play Madden. The dude understands the game. I know he streams late at night and he wins Super Bowls. He does fun content. But he can actually ball. This dude can ball. He's entertaining. He's very funny. Very funny guy. Sometimes you might have to watch what he says on a live stream. But very fun guy to meet. Shout out to me. I love meeting you, man. Um, Kerry Q was there. I think we knew who each other were, but we didn't have much to talk about. But it was fun to meet him. It was cool to hang out. Um, Shot by Buddha. That was the guy's name. I couldn't think of the Twitch streamer. Shot, or the Facebook streamer, Shot by Buddha. He brought him and his little Coach K or whatever. They were cool, positive vibes, good vibes, good environment, loved it. Good guy. We got to meet, uh, well, first we, got, we also got to meet Celebral. Told him I don't like him because he, he, uh, he's the reason I didn't make the event. <laughs> but nah, Celebral was a cool guy. He actually ended up winning his side of the, the thing. So, obviously very good. He came down from Canada. Shout out to Canada. <laughs> Canada came out one. I mean, that's, what are you going to do, baby? I mean, good win. I wouldn't say he's the most vocal guy in the world and stuff. He is a very honest guy. Good to meet. Shook his hands. Very good man to meet. One guy I was actually liking to meet was Siv, man. I didn't really recognize Siv at first. <laughs> It was weird as I was meeting so many people at the same time. Siv, hey, what's up? Siv came over. And I, took him, I was like, oh, that's Siv, man. What's up? We started talking and stuff. Outstanding Madden player. Outstanding. I didn't get to talk with Siv as much. Again, so many people there to meet. So much stuff to do. Um, outstanding Madden player. To see him play a game live was incredible. His energy was incredible. The road he had to do to beat people was incredible. Go get his ebook, man. I think he has like a Lions ebook or something. Go get it if you want to get better at Madden and stuff. And you want to know what it takes to compete. Siv has it. Shout out to Siv. Very good man. Very good gentleman. And stuff. Met him for a bit. Um, another person we met who wasn't even on the, the thing was um, Mr. Goody Goody. He's probably in a lot of your Twitch chats and stuff. I've known him at, from Twitch for like fuck. Eight years, nine years, been a long time. And we were supposed to hang out and go get tacos while I lived up there. Never did it. We never did. Moved out to, to where I live now. Finally met him there. Wish we would have met sooner, man. He's a good guy, good vibe. Totally good, right? But before I get to some other stuff, this is fun stuff that happened. Nick Mazesco walks in. I walk up to him. You know what I'm saying? He's freshly dressed. Got the chain on, the jacket. His feet were hurting. So he was walking like he had a stick up his ass. But, you know, it's all good. It was funny to watch. Anyways, went up to him. Great gentleman to meet in real life. Very respectful. So he said, hey, what's up? How's it going, MP? I was like, it's good, Nick. He was there for business. So, I don't, you know, I won't take him too much of his time. I don't, you know. Very respectful man. Deserves a spot. He does an EA. Very entertaining to be around. And so, very funny guy. Everything like that. Very great. But here's the next part that's funny. If you're on my Twitter you kind of know the story a little bit already. User, believe it or not, user, whether you see this or not, we played a few games a year or so ago, and we're pretty competitive. And uh, I didn't beat you, but you beat me. But it came down to the last play or whatever and stuff. So that's kind of how I know you in the sense of competitive. But I liked you since like the moment. I think you were in the Lions, I want to say. Um, Club Series. I want to say it was the Lions. I'm pretty sure it was. But a minute you were like, man, I can only see it on one eye. I'm blind. Da, da, da. You, you were funny to me. I liked your vibe. You're funny and stuff. I thought maybe you might know who I am. You might not. But hey, sometimes you just got to say hi. So I was like, what's up, user? He's like, hey, what's up? Who are you? And I'm like, oh, man, it's it's, it's MP. Who? You know, level MP, Madness players. Who? I was like, oh, it's all good, man. Enjoy your time. I'm Madness player. I don't know if he was pulling my leg or he just don't know who I was. It's cool. I don't think people know who I am. I'm old, bro. I'm old as shit, right? I was one of the oldest people there. Um, anyways, it was nice to meet him. He's a funny dude when he wants to be. He's pretty cool. He's a big dude. 
He was a big dude. He was a nice guy to meet. But I always thought that was funny. He was just like, I'm like, that's me. She's like, who? Who are you? Who? <laughs> it was funny. Um, who else did we meet when we were there? Oh, I said hi to Noah. Noah's a young kid. He don't really know who I am. Or maybe he does. I don't know. Um, uh, I think it was Wesley who was there. Um, but what's funny, uh, K Mac was there. I was like, I was going to go say, introduce him, say hi to K Mac and stuff. I'm in a lot of his tournaments. I don't think he knows who I am. But his girl, I think his girlfriend, I don't think they're married, right? It's their girlfriend. Prem Rose was there. And there's a story about me and Prem Rose. And I wanted to make it sound like weird and shit. There's a story about me and Prem Rose. No, um, a year ago, I must say it was a year ago. It could have been two years ago. I was goofing around on the game and shit. And we were in a game, and I saw TGL on the top, and I'm thinking it's just some random TGL person and stuff. I'm not paying attention, and I'm getting my ass kicked, right? And all of a sudden, I see in chat, Vose types, hey, you're playing Primrose, man. Focus up. Don't lose, you know? And all of a sudden, I'm like, yeah, right, I'm high as shit. I'm just having a good time. Look up, and it was Primrose <laughs> and stuff, right? So shit is up beating me or whatever, and it's because it's a big old joke. You know, Madden can't beat Primrose, da, da, da. She beat me, whatever. I ain't worried about it years ago. Anyways, time goes on. I end up being in like a tournament. I don't remember what tournament it was, but she was like uh, a commentator for it, and she was commentating my game. She pulled up my game and stuff, and you know she said hi in chat, and I said, "Hey, what's up, Prime Rose?" You know, I'm not thinking. I'm just playing, and I'm thinking I'm vibing, having a good time. I go and watch the replay. And I realized that she got upset because I said Prime Rose and it's Primrose and stuff. So I was like, oh, you know, after I messaged her, I said, I'm sorry, whatever. I never heard anything and stuff. And if you know me, I don't like offending people. I get, I don't like having people mad at me. I don't like people being on the, like getting bad feelings of me. Like, I don't know. I feel bad about it. So anyways, uh, we were there and uh, our man Shorzy who who is uh lobby up was there um run lots of tournaments does a lot of cool things um shout out to Shozy and lobby up I love you I was love meeting you I wish you could have talked more I do want my own tournament anyways moving on he was talking to Primrose um you know I went over there and introduced myself and stuff and I was like hey you know I'm MP and it's like yeah and I was like you know I sat behind her she was I guess she was vlogging. I didn't realize that she was pointing the camera at her. I thought she was pointing at the competitors. But anyways, you know, I was just like, I'm sorry, you know. I, I know you're supposed to be, it's supposed to be Primrose and whatever. She's like, it's okay. And uh, she told me about some other people that messed it up too. So I felt a little better, you know. I got to apologize in person to her because it, I don't, If you, unless you guys know me in real life, I don't like making people feel bad. It, it'll, it'll affect me. I won't sleep at night. I don't even have to know you very well whatever right so it, it still affected me like i felt like i really messed up her name but she was very nice she's very sweet i was like no it's okay and we ch chatted like a bit and she was cool and all of a sudden in her chat there's some people in the chat were like is that level mp and she's like hey mp say hi or whatever and i was like what they know who i am what so then i did a rap which was really bad i did a really bad rap i'm sorry prim if you ever want me to do like an actual real rap come to my stream sometime um and i'll and i'll do it for you but anyways i met her she is really nice in person uh, i don't know what you guys hear online or what you guys think she projects online or whatever meeting her in person genuine good person follow her give her a sub hang out with her very good person and stuff Sh shout out to kmac i know i didn't get to meet you or shake your hand or anything i'm getting real busy doing a lot of stuff i was tired and i don't thought like that so overall, I think I named everyone that I got to meet there. We had a good time. It was good vibes. The energy was high. Um, it made me want to grab a controller up and play. I felt like I could have won a few games. Um, I don't think I would have like won the whole thing. There's no flipping way. But there's a few people there, Fendler, that I felt like I could have beat pop um rag um just a few people out there um <laughs> i'm just playing but it was a good time a good vibe 
Um, I couldn't hang out afterwards. I had to drive three and a half hours home. But, you know, if you guys ever do another event, another jump off, guys, I would like to be involved in it somehow, you know. But otherwise, unless I get invited or something, it might be my last event that I attend. Um, I've been in the Manic community a long time. And I'm going to admit something. I've, I've wanted to be known. I've wanted to be noticed. I've wanted to uh, so have some self-recognition. And so I've been around a long time. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it felt good when I got there that people knew who I was and they liked me. But one thing I got to know, it wasn't because that I was good at Madden. Because let's face it, I'm not. I'm not that good at Madden no more. I'm just playing for fun, you know? But I am getting noticed for the content. And that's the direction that we're going to head. I want to be fun. I want to have fun and hang out. Bring people in to Madden to show them that you can have fun. Maybe Madden sucks. Maybe Madden is not a good game and we, we hate where it's at right now. But you can take this and make it entertaining. Take the bits and pieces and make it entertaining. And bring people, this is going to sound weird to you guys, off the streets. Away from drugs, away from gangs. Get them in a lobby. Get them in a tournament. Get them in a live event. Hang out. Get a good vibe. That's what I love about Madden and stuff. Madden at one point saved my life. It paid my rent. I got to feed my kids. Everyone knows the story. You can watch it later on my YouTube. But I feel that that's what needs to get back to. Let's have live events. Let's have these tournaments. Let's have lobby up run tournaments, CFMs, all this stuff. Let's do it, man. Jump Off was a great event. Jump Off 2 was great. I'm looking forward to Jump Off 3. And Cap, I would love to be a creator that goes out there. I got a lot of creator stuff that I need to work on on myself. I feel that we're getting there. But that is the story of how it went down to Jump Off. If I forgot anyone, anyone that I don't remember meeting or whatever, I was tired. If you guys don't know, I have a major back problem, so I can't stand a long time. And we stood for 3-4 hours at the event. We went up and down stairs. Everything, when I got home, I barely could take two steps. And now we have COVID. So, anyways, that is my jump off story. That is everything that went on. Everything went down. I love everyone that showed up. I have no hatred or any animosity towards anyone. It was a pleasure meeting everyone, especially in person. Especially people that I look, go to. Love each and every one of you. And I hope to see you guys, you know, come through my streams. Come through my content. And uh, let's keep this Madden door evolving. Let's keep growing and getting better. Uh, and as I pointed out, I would love to be a part of the jump off team. Uh, any event that you guys set up or whatever, I like to go and hang out and do whatever. Um, whatever it is. My name is Level MP. And this was a jump off experience, baby. Keep it Level MP. We out.